Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is right around the middle of the month that we are gonna have a full moon that really is going to be a highlight for this month. As we start the month, we're still working with the energy of the new moon of late last month. So you might wanna have a look at that video again where I spoke about finances and self-esteem and self-worth. And that energy is strong in the first days of the month. But mid-month, this full moon is reaching out to other power players in the sky in powerful ways, mainly Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter as well. Well, all of that tells me that this is going to be an important turning point for you. It is this full moon that happens right around the 13th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that has to do with more consequential change. It is personal transformation and regeneration, whether that is psychological, whether that is physical. It has to do with your truth, your authenticity and connecting to it deeply. The other layer to this part of the sky is it is connected to finances, but it's more about your connection to financial institutions. So here's the thing. This full moon has a beautiful connection playing out with Jupiter. This is supremely harmonious. This is fortunate. This is important because Jupiter, as we start this month, has got about two more months to go, moving through the very foundation of your chart, the very bottom of your sky, before Jupiter moves on, not to return for a good 12 years. It is ultimately, while Jupiter's here and has been uh, since late last year, well, this tends to be a really good time to focus on matters of home and matters of family and family of origin. Everything from where you live, whether it's changing where you live or whether it has to do with uh, feeling good about where you are right now and feeling good about where you've been in terms of your past, all of that becomes more possible with this energy. And so in a more spiritual understanding of this beautiful connection between this full moon and Jupiter, this can be a time when as a result of your past or your family or the sanctuary that you've created at home, you're able to facilitate truly meaningful changes in your life today. You're able to interpret the past differently in a way that empowers you now. You're able to be more revealing and more comfortable uh, and truly be able to understand more deeply your family dynamics, uh, your early life, and that can empower you where you are today. And that's one of the more encouraging ways and a more literal way as well. Uh, this energy of this full moon and uh, this Jupiter, well, it does suggest that home is where the prosperity is now. If you have a home-based business or you work with homes, this can be a time of some uh, commission payments coming through uh, or some sense of uh, a lot of prosperity that finds you very quickly. If it is that you are looking to sell, this can be a time when your home ends up making money for you in a big way. This can also be inheritances as well that are highlighted here. So that's part of the energy that seems to be very encouraging. But we've got some other energy playing out as well with Saturn and Pluto that's more challenging to this full moon. So it is Saturn and Pluto now that are slowly continuing to move through a part of the sky for you that have to do with a few things. Uh, one on a more literal level can be your children, but on another level, it has to do with what you're passionate about, what you really want, uh, what it is that your heart is asking you to do. With this connection playing out uh, between these two planets and this full moon, uh, for some, on a literal level, this can be a sense of uh, wanting to uh, be able to facilitate prosperity for your children and thinking about how to go about doing that. That can be part of uh, the calling right now or part of the urge right now. Another layer of understanding to this has to do with looking at what it is you really want to do and considering the resources available to you, if you have the resources or not, and what you need to do to secure those. Now, sometimes this really is about desire, 
It is about you uh, wanting to secure funding so that you can um, create a business that aligns with what it is that you really are very passionate about, where you want to start growing something of your own in that regard. It is gonna be these very areas that you will have to find steps to actually move forward from. And to be very transparent with this energy, yeah, sometimes it can be that you have to pay attention to a financial matter. You may be asked to look at a matter having to do with a grant or a loan uh, or having to connect with your bank in some way. But remember, we've got such fortunate energy here, uh, such energy that says where you are, where you've been, this is a place of great prosperity for you. But remember with that beautiful energy at home, that beautiful energy right where you are, it tells me that there is prosperity available to you. Whenever it is that we have such important financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. It's just that, and especially as part of this full moon, there may be some growth and learning as you navigate your way forward towards greater wealth. Now, a lot of this is also centered on your own personal change, your own personal transformation. And it could be a time like this when you are contemplating things a little bit more deeply. You are looking at your own desires and where it is that they are truly rooted in authenticity and where it is that perhaps they are not. And this sense of honesty cultivates ultimately awareness. And awareness is a key part of becoming more conscious because it is that awareness ultimately that allows you to ensure that you're making choices from a more authentic place from within you, from a more honest place within you, rather than just being on automatic and thinking that I want this and therefore I'm gonna do this. It can be so important to take a step back sometimes and say, why do I want this? What is it within me that is feeling aligned with this to ensure that it is rooted in, grounded in principles of greater love and greater wisdom. But one thing is for sure, regardless of how this energy comes forward, chances are this is going to be an exceptionally rewarding time of transformation and a sense of you becoming more of you in a way that you can feel good about. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, that is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. It has to do with communication of all kinds, and communication really is gonna be highlighted here in powerful ways. And that is because as we approach this new moon, Mercury will be standing still in the sky right on Halloween, officially going retrograde. Mercury will spend an unusually long time in this same part of the sky that this new moon late in the month is going to be taking place in, moving into this part of the sky at the beginning of the month, right into the middle of December, an unusually long time. November is a very big Mercury retrograde month. So here are some things to consider at this new moon, with this new moon standing across the sky from Uranus, no less, adding a surprise element, a quick moving element. It can be that the opportunity to connect with people, to speak with people, uh, to make uh, agreements, negotiations, uh, contracts even, can come up very quickly and very much by surprise. And as they do, certain agreements that you may reach now can feel as if they are leaping you forward, uh, moving you in bright and bold and new directions, which can be truly enlivening at that. At the same time though, because of that Mercury retrograde, it does suggest that there may be key details there that you are not seeing right away. And where possible, uh, of course you have to trust your life, trust what it is that shows up for you. However, in general, and especially when we have Mercury retrograde in this part of the sky, it is suggested that um, you not sign any documents. Again, it's always up to you to decide what's right for you. Sometimes you really have to trust your life. However, if possible, try to leave some room there for renegotiations if they need to happen. And also understand that sometimes what it is that is being agreed to may go through a change. Now another layer, as I said, siblings, cousins, neighbors are covered here as well. You may have some uh, surprise encounters with one of these people. 
It is possible now that whether they behave in ways that are unpredictable or whether they facilitate a lovely surprise in your life, it really can run the gamut. So it can be a delightful surprise that helps you to feel like you're moving forward in your life, leaping forward into the future, uh, inviting a truly spontaneous energy, but it can also be a surprise that feels uh, like you don't really know how you feel about it right away before you start realizing that there are some really good possibilities here. So that becomes possible. Even just unpredictable behavior becomes possible. But whatever it seems like it comes up, if it feels like one of these people is announcing some big change, especially around that new moon towards the end of the month, with Mercury retrograde, things could change. <laughs> they might change their mind. They might gain more experience and have another opinion and think they're going one way and then decide that they actually want something else. Like these are the types of things that can happen here. And so where possible, I would also say, give people enough space to not have to be held to uh, what it is that they are necessarily stating to be a decision for them, especially these particular types of people that I mentioned, only because sometimes people change their mind and that really is okay. It's nice to offer people that space to change their minds as we would want to be offered that ourselves. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is that full moon in the middle of the month that in addition to the things I spoke of is also connected to intimacy and vulnerability. And it is connected to being known more deeply by another. And so there are a few ways that that can show up in our lives, right? There's uh, physical intimacy and there's emotional intimacy as well. One thing is for sure with this energy, it has to be authentic. It's like you feel it or you don't. And if you feel it, it, even if it doesn't make sense, you are all in. But if you realize that it doesn't feel genuine and real to you, well, this is gonna be one of those all or nothing kind of decision moments. The other thing though, to keep in mind with this full moon, that Jupiterian energy, it's almost like seeing uh, with the eyes of the past rather than maybe the dynamic that is really in front of you. These are some things you are gonna to have to be mindful of. If you are open to meeting someone new, it is possible that you could connect with someone. It could feel rather intense, very transformative, very quickly, especially around this full moon. However, it does look like, especially with the way in which Saturn and Pluto especially are speaking with this full moon, there may be some really complicated factors there. Um, there may be real reasons to uh, take a more measured approach that are showing up for you. And again, it's always up to you to decide what is right for you in light of your unique circumstance. However, it, uh, it can be a situation where you're feeling a lot of things very, very quickly, um, but there are some, some details there that are being revealed as well that invite you to take a little bit of a step back. Now, if it is that you are just starting to date someone, so there's a couple of important things to remember with this uh, full moon. And one of that is, this is not the time, I would say, to mix love and money, especially if it's someone that you've just getting to know, that you've just started dating. Now, established bonds, it's a little bit different. Like if you've really been together for a while, or you live together, that's a different thing. But and you're just getting to know someone, you're in that you know first phase, the first month or two or three even, uh, or more sometimes, it is important to pace yourself because love and money don't really seem to be mixing here. Um, and it is important to listen to your instincts, what feels right to you, what doesn't. If you're being asked to share resources, does it feel right or not? Uh, these are some things to keep in mind with this. The other way in which this energy can come forward is, uh, sometimes I do give this advice from time to time, since I've been on YouTube. That person that you are on a first or second or third or fourth or fifth date with, that person is not your therapist. And so it's really important to allow something to have a pace of its own to allow something to develop on its own instead of treating one moment as, you know, just everything, you know, open gates wide. And yes, there are some times where that can, you know, feel like the right thing to do. But the thing is, I think sometimes what happens with people is that they want a 10 year relationship in 10 dates or less. And it doesn't really work that way. 
If you want a 10 year relationship, you have to actually be with somebody for 10 years in order to get there. And so much of love and so much of knowing another person is facilitated in quieter moments, in observation and in, in seeing how people deal with certain situations again and again and again, that you really get a sense of, of who a person is, but also how much it is that there is trust there well, that is developed over a period of time and over a period of consistency. You can feel things, especially in the beginning. You can feel things which are amazing. You can feel that sense of trust, but at the same time, there's a fine line between feeling like you trust this person and you know rushing through certain steps. And some of that can happen with this energy, so that might be something you wanna be mindful of. For those of you who are in an established bond, with this full moon, sometimes it can bring a focus on spouse's income. Now, I do really like that beautiful energy between um, Jupiter and this full moon. It does suggest abundance. Again, if any way your partner's income is uh, connected to matters of home and the space that the two of you live in, it's that much more likely that prosperity can abound. However, that connection with Saturn and Pluto does say that there may be some navigating that needs to happen in terms of the resources that you share. The other way this energy can play out is in terms of vulnerability and intimacy. And it can be that a key moment sort of leads you to a place where you feel like you need to share something with your partner or they with you that ends up being kind of revealing. And so that can be part of how this time is navigated. But the great thing is that the motivation is there and the blessings are there as well to be more honest and to feel that much more closer together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, right? But I am going to say that new moon at the end of the month, I'm gonna give it to that new moon, even with that beautiful Jupiter lunar energy in the middle of the month, that new moon has Uranus standing across it. Things can move very quickly at this time. It can be a time of possibility, a time of luck, a time of just getting a certain uh, letter or a certain email that just feels like it changes everything quickly and for the better. And synchronicity is covered by this part of the sky as well. And that is going to be very high at that new moon. You may find yourself being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, and it makes all the difference, moving you towards a more empowered and authentic future. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy